making bath salts. Well, that's what they used to be called. Now they're called bath soaks. But really it's just magnesium sulfide or Epsom salts mixed with essential oils and herbs to make a beautiful soak for your tub. So we're going to start off with our tools. We need the magnesium sulfide or Epsom salts, um, some herbs, whatever herbs you like, essential oils. You're going to need a mixing or a mixing bowl and a measuring cup, a funnel if, if your container that you're going to put them in in the end has a narrow neck and if it has a wide neck you don't need the funnel and then a mixing spoon. Okay. So let's get started. Set this aside. We're going to first pour in for this recipe. We're going to pour in about two cups worth of Epsom salt. this mix really super simple you're going to just use your essential oils I have a selection of ones that are nice sweet orange uh, rosemary clary sage geranium lavender and then copabaya balsam those are just a nice relative selection if you're looking at making these and you want a more floral feminine scent definitely use the geranium and if you're wanting a more masculine scent, leave the geranium out. And the copabaya balsam will be nice. For today, we're going to just go with the lavender and the sweet orange. So for the lavender, we'll use about 10 drops. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you notice how I'm dropping it in different areas. I don't drop them all in one spot. The orange. Do the same thing, about 10 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. And then, so the lavender offers relaxation, muscle relaxation. Orange is uplifting. And I think I'm going to put a few rose drops of rosemary in there as well. There we go. I'll put in five drops because rosemary can be kind of powerful. And So we want to mix this in really well. You notice how the orange, you can see where the essential oil is, like right in there. You can see that sort of yellow, orangey color. That kind of helps. Once you get that all broken up, you can tell that you've got most of your essential oils mixed in. It should smell fairly strong as you're mixing it. If you're planning to use it right away, um, you might be able to go with maybe five or six drops. But if you're planning to give this as a gift, then I would go with the 10 drops of each, each of the scents. So a total of somewhere between 20 and 30 drops because the scent will fade as it waits to be used. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna turn it over to Sue to talk about how to best add dried herbs. There you go, Sue. Thank you. So this has got a really lovely smell, but as far as color, there's not too much there. Fortunately, the herbal world has a lot of different colors to offer. If you wanted to have more of a floral look to it, you can add some rose petals. These are dried rose petals. And what we would do for these is put them in a coffee grinder. I would put a cup of them into a coffee grinder and grind it up real nice and then mix it in and take a look at it. It'll grind up much smaller than um, what you'll see here. So about half of the bulk you'll end up with half a cup. Uh, the other options would be to use orange peel, a dried orange peel, which we already have orange in there. And that little little orangish color, little orange brown earthy color, it's ha all the colors also have an effect on people. Lavender, another essential oil that we used, and to have some pink and purple in there together is a really beautiful look. If you wanted to add some yellow to it, elderflower 
There's not a lot to look at right now, but adding a tiny bit of yellow to it might make the color balance that you're looking for. And it does have a very nice floral scent. And keep in mind other flowers um, like uh, chamomile or yarrow comes in a bunch of different colors. There's pink yarrow and yellow yarrow and any of those would be nice to put into the mix. The other option would be some of these leaves. They're green and that might be a nice balance with the pink. Peppermint has a very strong smell. So even ground up with that, that would be a very nice combination. So for this one, we'll just put together some of these rose petals. And oh, I wish you could smell it right now. It smells wonderful. The pink rose petals have a much stronger smell than red rose petals as a general rule. Oh, it's enchanting. So we'll put them in there and we'll have to do it a little at a time. You don't want it to spill. Put this in here and then we'll take it off and grind it and combine it. Go ahead and get it. Mm. Oh, there it goes. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Let's add a little bit more. Okay. Do you want straight, not ground? Uh, well, let's see how this looks. Okay. So far, we've got a beautiful color to that. See how that changes it up? So nice, but you can see how we might want a little bit more to it. Okay. The rest of this cup will be perfect. Oops, I'll grab that. Thank you, Candace. Look at how that changes it. When they're all ground up like this too, it's nice because you know that they'll just go down the bath drain and it won't be hard to clean up. That's right. I've done herbals with fresh herbs in the bath. The cleanup is uh, stressful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that undoes that's the... That's awesome. Yeah. So that's about one cup of herb to two cups of Epsom salts. And look how nice that looks. It's beautiful. And again, if you wanted to add a couple of different ones, like the lavender or something, just use a little bit of this and a little bit of that and experiment to see what it ends up looking like. You could certainly add some more. I'm pretty pleased with the color as it looks now. Yeah, I think that looks really good. But you can also see how wonderful that would be with a little bit of yellow, a touch of green, a little bit of purple. Experiment and end up with different colors. And if you want at the end, when you're pouring it in, you can put everything all in one big container. And this is when the, uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, and this one, the funnel might not be needed. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm not the most graceful person in the world. Here, I'll do that. But other options would be if you had a couple different uh, scents that you wanted, put one in one uh, bottle and one in the other one and just give it a nice little tag to it and that makes a wonderful gift if you had that with a, like a handmade soap people would be tickled to death to have that in their house or if you recycle some of these older bottles those are fun to use just depends on your imagination and what you want to use oh look at that how nice is that there we go spoon the last bit in mm -hmm. This one's nice because it's like the perfect amount for this particular jar. Yes. It is there. I feel it relaxing already. Right? Here's a little extra. We'll sprinkle yeah. it on the top for fun. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at that. So, and we just put a little bow around it and a little chunk of cinnamon just for fun. And then you put your seal on it. And you're done. There you go. Beautiful handmade bath soak. Yep. And when you're using it, just get a handful, throw it in the tub, and there you go.